The guy is obviously very disruptive, and he's going up against high-level talents each week. You know, playing in a, you know, a big program like Clemson, you're going up against better competition. I think the first thing you see is his profile. You know, height, weight, arm length, like speed, how he performed at the combine. Like those are the first thing that you see when you really don't haven't watched the tape. And you realize, okay, this guy has the profile to be a really good football player in the National Football League. He's very disruptive, but it's not just one place. You're not just putting at a certain position inside in like a three technique or a zero or one, whatever it may be. The guy plays all along the defense line. For him, it's not just a interior guy. I mean, if you look at Clemson, the guys played on the outside. They stand him up and move him around. So a guy with that size and length and strength and explosiveness that you can move all around, um, it's hard to find. He does some things that a lot of other people can't do because of the things that he can bring to the table. So that's where it all starts. And then from there, you start digging a little even anymore. The ability to just be able to lock guys out knock people back, get off of blocks, make plays at the point of attack. You know, there's a lot of plays that come his direction that have to go elsewhere. And, you know, when you start to see that presence in the middle of the defense, there's so many different things that he can do uh, to help your, your unit. When I go into Clemson and I start asking, you know, people there and sources there, yeah, he's always been that guy. They've all, always talked about him the same way, whether it's like, this guy brings energy. This guy is one of the hardest workers on our team. This guy is one of the best leaders on our team. It's always been consistent. I mean, across the board, he's he would be what you call a Falcon ethos.